Hi, I'm Mike from Bird Kids. I'm here with Analog Zone. We're at Superboost 16. And I'm super excited to show something really cool we have. It's a 42 HP mobile system. It's built around the uh, discrete core VCO or budget year VCO. As you surely already know, it's a UGAT transistor design. It's very, very vintage sounding, very cool. We've been able to stabilize it over six to seven octaves. It sounds very, very fat. <laughs> Now the coolest thing about this system is actually it's powered by USB micro B which means you can actually connect it to a regular phone uh, adapter and you can uh, actually uh, uh, connect it to a cell for the phone as well. So, 4 HP power supply for the entire system plus high interpolation 16-bit MIDI to CPU converter. You've got your pitch modulation velocity gate and MIDI uh, via MIDI to 3.5 jack uh, you've got your complete setup on the 4 hp uh, we've got a digital adsr ahdsr five stages three modes three separate time zones uh, variable curvature linear exponential logarithmic we've got the vco with the expander the vco also has a vcf four pole filter 24 db uh, very very cool and smooth very responsive uh, built to high military standards like for example the switch It'll never break. Uh, now we've got a 41 mixer right here as well. It allows you to get a really, really short uh, a cable length right to your mixer. Uh, with a noise source present, and the noise source is over to the force check, but it also acts as a U a audio input, and you still have your noise source present. This is the better year system. It's 42 HP, super portable, in a prep tools case, with wood size panels. Uh, custom. Now, the other thing we have is a very, very interesting new ecosystem we call Bird's Nest. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Bird's Nest. The Bird's Nest is actually a studio grade 16 channel audio mixer and a distribution channel for the entire UREC system. It's built in the case, it's a very flat, small PCB, and you're using very, very simple, very small passive modules to either act as input, output or distribution. Depending on how you plug it into your system, it's either input or trimming or distribution or output. You also have passive uh, trimming modules such as those and you can actually mix completely internally with very high headroom. Uh, we've got four auxiliary channels. It's channel one, two, three and four. Uh, one and three are summed to L, and two and four are summed to R. So basically you have stereo panning, you have two mono sums, buffered. Everything is very UREC modular levels. So you've got 10 volt PP, uh, everything is figured out. Third party manufacturer support as well, allows everybody to concentrate on what they do best. Basically, you can take whatever you're building, be it a DSP or VCO, VCF, supply very, very simple routing to the outputs, plug it in and you're good to go. Now the most exciting thing about the system is actually the ability to clean up inside the modular. We all know those very epic patches that we like to make, huge cable trees running all around. If you see this system, you will notice a very peculiar thing. We're not using cables longer than this and still we are able to get everything inside. So this is due to the system, the bird's nest. We're actually using 3HP uh, mixer with overload. That's a standalone mixer, but still we're using only the passive mode. We're rooting it internally and we're taking the signal out here and we're going back here. So basically you can take your signal from wherever you like, put it wherever you like. All the PCBs are stackable, they're desert chainable, so you can have multiple PCBs going from one to another. And they are actually connected by a simple 16-pin flat ribbon cable. This is very cool, and we also have dip switches. Those dip switches allow us to select which signals we're actually routing passing on. So you can say, okay, this is my drum section, this is my VCO section, and I'm only gonna pass the drum zone or just the, the, the distribution side of things. So this is very clean, very uncluttered. The other thing I wanna show you is the 104, one U, uh, buffer multiple. It's color coded, so whatever goes in here is available across the entire land. 
it's very self-explanatory. And we also thought about uh, people not only using Eurek, but also going for open standards such as Arduino, Arduino. So what we've done here is we use uh, a, a simple output on the front panel that allows jumper wires. You can input them and actually distribute them across the entire channel of the mixing distribution bus inside the Bertsnet system. So you can have an Arduino signal present here, take it wherever you like, and maybe adapt it for your rec as well. Everybody is welcome to use that. And we want this to be an open standard for everybody. We're not protective of it as just a bird kids, uh, whatever. Everybody is welcome to develop for it. And right now we're using it to unclutter our own system and make it really friendly for performance. We're all about music. We're all about being intuitive and being very, very hands-on and really be able to get a very clean, simple musical result and get as freaky as you like, because we all obviously like to get modular. That's it. Mike from Burkett, thank you for your time.